Ground Control to Mission 1. Do you read me? Come in, please. Mission 1 to Ground Control. Receiving you loud and clear. Prepare to engage transmission. Oh, and by the way, Dr Knowles, where on earth is McCork? That's the thing, Colin. I'm not on Earth at all. I'm in space. Wow! And we're live from space in 10, 9, 8, 7. This is Brain Freeze with Dr. Knowles, Professor McCork, Colin the Floor Manager, and Miss Hucklebuck. Stand by! Welcome to Brain Freeze in space! Today we're asking, what is a black hole? To understand black holes, we first need to talk about gravity. Every object exerts a gravitational pull on every other, and the larger the mass of the object, the stronger the pull. We're all familiar with gravity on Earth. It's what keeps us from floating away. What goes up must come down! In space, these gravitational forces keep the Moon orbiting the Earth and the planets orbiting the Sun. So, what would it be like without gravity, Dr. Knowles? Let's find out! <laughs> this is brilliant! Today's big answer! So tell us, Dr. Knowles, what is a black hole? Black holes are not really holes at all. In fact, they're the opposite of empty. They're full and a black hole. A black hole is an area of such immense gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Black holes form when a star collapses in on itself, producing a massive explosion. Boom! All the material left over is thought to have a mass of more than 10 suns, which gets squashed into a sphere roughly the size of New York City. It's so small now, and yet so big. I don't understand. Imagine if the entire mass of the Earth was squashed down to the size of a fingernail. That would be a lot of gravity. It is. And that's why other smaller objects are pulled towards it and trapped inside. Oh, I hope there are no black holes around here. Not to worry, Professor. The nearest one is hundreds of light years away. I think we're pretty safe. See you next time. 